All right. How's everybody doing? Got a nice sunny day, right? Um, I'm just going to open it up. I'm ready to go. We come off a good win. We're really fired up to play the Raiders because we it's a good division game for us to play. So we're getting ready for that. We're knee deep into the Raiders, but I'll open up to any questions you got. Milton Ingram's performance, obviously. How much flexibility do you think going forward you'll have with him, uh, yeah. especially the, the opportunity to move Chris Jones back? And yeah, I mean, it allows us to do some things that we weren't able to do initially. Um, was really happy that the very first play, I think he went in there. I think we were in dime a third down. He kind of just was just that close to knocking the ball out. But he's a pro. Uh, I told you this. I think I said this last week. Uh, last week. Real smart, intelligent football player. Picks up things really quick. Get him as many reps as we can between now and, and game day. Just keep piling off. What does that mean for Chris Jones? I mean, is he more of a free He's still going to be still, – we're still going to have some flexibility with Chris. I don't think we're going to lose that. Um, but it does allow us – I mean, even in the game, he was inside more than he was outside. But we're not going to restrict him to one spot, to be honest with you. He's going to move around. What did you think about him on Sunday? I mean, Chris? Mostly yeah, I mean, listen, he's a, we know that when he's in there, he can do some dominant things. Um, like any player, you know, when you've been in one spot for whatever it's been now, uh, and then you kind of go back, there's a little rust to knock off. Uh, but I think he's comfortable in there because he's done it for many years. But we got a little bit of rust to knock off, and hopefully as he gets some more reps in there, inside and outside, he'll get better at both, you know. How did you feel about the linebacker rotation with Hitch back in the mix? Yeah, you, know, you guys know how much I value Hitch and his reliability. And when he goes out there, he makes the other 10 better, in my opinion, every time he's out there. And yet we have some young linebackers that are running around doing a good job. So we'll keep the mix going. A lot of it will be uh, determined by what they put in uh, and then the down and distance and situation. So but we'll keep that rotation going. Um, okay. I, think you, I think you were 0 for 9 on the first uh, nine third downs holding the Packers on Sunday, um, especially with Ingram coming in there on that third down package. I mean, does that add a kind of a new dimension to you on that? that down? We didn't, um, it didn't add any different calls, if I'm being honest, um, but we just kind of got him oiled up to execute the ones that we have had. We haven't always been able to run our whole third down package, and a lot of that is dictated by how, f how long that third down is. You know, there was a string here uh, where we were in a lot of third down and I'm going to say one to five, you know. I think uh, last week we got into some longer ones. I mean, I, I, mean I'm, I remember some third and eights and third and twelves, and, you know, those are a little bit more manageable for us than for them. So if we can keep getting more of those, I think we could t do some more things, and I think what Melvin does uh, will feed into those particular calls. Steve, what do you like about Ben Neiman as a pass rusher? You had him in there on a lot of those zero blitzes. Yeah, well, he's in there as a you know dime Mike linebacker. Right. So if we call something, he's kind. Of, I, I will tell you. I'm glad you brought that up. He has a unique um, feel for some of those. Actually, weren't necessarily for him to actually come unless he got something, uh, and he did. And so he's just really good at that. Um, Can you elaborate on that? What you mean by that? Uh, I don't want to go too far into what I mean by that because I know we're getting ready to play somebody. But um, listen, sometimes he's coming, sometimes he's not. When he does come, whenever that call is, I think he does a really good job. He's, he's, a, he's a more powerful player than you think. Like when I talked to Barry Rubin and, and asked him about where he is, he's like one of the stronger guys from the waist down. Like he has some natural strength. I think he showed that against the running back in one snap uh, in the game. And he does everything exactly the way you need him to do it, which helps the other guys around him. I don't know if that helps you. Yeah. Yeah, no, but, yeah. Dave, do you have some sense, I, I know it's all relative and week to week and only as good as your next game, but do you have some sense of a, a little corner being turned with just how the guys are playing together and, and what, you know, have to maybe the more pull, pull group together? Yeah. What, what's your... Now, there's a little bit of that. I'm always cautious with it because it can change like that. Yeah. Um, but I do think this game, especially defensively, I'm talking about football and especially in the NFL, confidence is huge. And guys playing together snap after snap. And when you go through an injured guy's out here and you've got to plug another one, and there's, it, 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 it gets tough. It, it, you can't, it's hard to get that continuity. And, you know, it feels like we're getting a little bit of it, but it, what we've done prior doesn't mean anything when we line up on Sunday night. But... Keep our fingers crossed that we can keep operating that like that. I think we'll be okay. How about your own confidence, though? I mean, that, that must be a. Thing you know, well, when you're able to, to, when you're able to get, you know, a lot of it is coming back to first and second down. You know, if we can get them in those third downs and we're able to get guys out there and 
you know, operating, doing some of the things that I think our guys enjoy doing, you know, and I enjoy calling. And if you can put some pressure on the guy that's got the ball back there, that's a good thing. So we'll hope we can stay. I, I think first and second down is going to be really big in this game too because Derek Carr does a really good job of getting their offense in the best play possible based on what you're showing them. That's the challenge. Uh, we've talked a lot about that, and hopefully we can – we have not done well against him. We know the prior two games. So, you know, we're certainly aware of it and uh, putting all our efforts into making sure that changes. How much confidence can be gained by uh, the defense and what they were able to do? Can you say it again? How much confidence can be gained by the performance against uh, Devontae Adams in particular with Snead and – yeah, I, I'm glad you brought that up because I thought C-Dub and, and Legereus did a great job on the outside, especially with him. And they had some other receivers in, I, in there that I thought were pretty good too. Um, I, I believe, you know, if I'm them as players, I would that would build confidence in me. Um, and I'm hoping. I think the rest of the guys feed off of that. When you're when you can be really good on the outside, you know, that just makes you so much better inside. Sorry, anything you can point to why those guys played as well as they did on the outside? I, I don't know. I think the mindset was right. I mean, uh, we were determined. I mean, there was a lot of talk about um, this young quarterback being very fortunate in playing the Chiefs defense. There was a lot of talk about that. I think our guys took that personal, so maybe that helped a little bit. But I think what they did, the mindset that the whole group went out in, I thought was really good. How much does the pass rush, how much does the pass rush help that, those two guys? Oh, it all works together, right? I mean, I, certainly uh, ask any corner in this league. How important the pass rush is, I bet he'd tell you it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty important. You can only cover him for so long, right? right, right. And these guys are going to get open eventually, so that, that was huge. Where are we going? Let's see Adam made in time. Um, okay. You guys have been involved in a lot of close games. There have been a lot of close games lead wide. A lot of them have involved big comebacks by one team or the other. Yeah. My question for you is, and you probably always felt this way because you're a defensive coach, but you, you feel like no lead is ever safe more, more than you felt that in past years maybe? I've, I've always felt that way, Adam, and I, I, there's always somewhere in the week when I talk about that with the defense. I mean, it takes four, when you're up by two possessions, it really takes four offensive plays or, you know, put, a, put an onside kick in there, right, and bang, that can be tied again. And we've seen it, um, we've got tape of games in prior years where that happened. So, I mean, I'm, not, I'm of the type, even when you're up by three possessions, it's like, Unless it gets under a minute, <laughs> you know, maybe, yeah, okay, the odds say that you're pretty. But I, we were always playing. To me, for us, the scoreboard never matters, in my opinion. Um, that's, and that's, I think that's how you should be on defense. So you don't necessarily feel like that more this year than any other year? Before. I don't think so. I'm always getting ready for the next possession, and um, that's been typical this year, right? It's the, on film, it looks like you guys are doing a little bit more stunts, a little more games. Because, um, I, don't, I don't know if that's because obviously your defensive line is healthy, but just in, in talking about in discussing that, just what makes those guys so effective right now and, and running those type of stunts, and it seems to work really. Are well. you more in the pa Are you in the pass world when you say that? And um, yeah, listen, I give. There are some calls in there where I give them the, the yeah of whether they want to rush it straight or, uh, and sometimes they have a certain. You know, there's a certain guy they want to work on, or they get a tip, and so they've done a pretty good job of that recently. I hope that can continue. You know, with this you mentioned group. the Raiders earlier. Just uh, what are your thoughts about how they're playing now? They've obviously gone through a lot of change in the last month. Yeah. Um, do they look different now than they looked early? Um, you know, we've been trying to do that dance, like you know, Greg Olson, who I have a lot of respect for, is now calling it versus what John was doing. Um, I think there, there, there may be some uh, small changes there but I, I still think it comes back to the quarterback and what he likes and obviously and they've been playing well this whole year and he's been playing really 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 well so I don't think they would venture too far off from what he's been doing because they've had some so much success Jordan loves first game effort you know you guys did a lot of those zero blitzes and maybe yeah. he's not ready for all that stuff Derek Carr is a veteran is that someone who maybe some of those things may not work as well against Nah, we'll see I mean uh, we're going to try to do what we do um, but he's going to do what he does which is, he's got the, it's almost like he's got the chalk last, right? Because he can make the changes. So we'll try to find a way to be a step ahead. Thanks, okay? Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you.